I'm trying to stay focused. I know I can outrun anyone here. I have just got to get this done. Come on, girls. You got this, girl. Yeah. Good job, girl. You got this. I just need to go as fast as I can. My legs are hurting. I'm so tired. But someone once told me that even when you feel like you can't go no more, you still have like 30% left in you. So right now, I am gonna keep going because you never know, I could catch up to Emmanuel and I still can get first place. Did I win? Congratulations. You just won $250,000, and you are the newest challenge champion. Emmanuel. Good job, man. Thank Good you job, so brother. Much. Well done. You did it, man. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you did it, bro. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, Tej. I always envisioned myself right here in front of you, and you calling me the champ. My life has changed. <laughs> my family, to this day, struggles, you know. My grandparents, you know, my grandparents don't even have heaters in the house, man. They live in a village. But now, they have everything. I'm feeling so honored, so grateful, and so blessed that I got the job done. I became challenge champion and I'm hooking up my family and my life and my family's life has changed from now on. I feel like I'm part of a very exclusive family right now. I'm joining the champs family of the challenge and to be a champion, it's more than a dream come true. I'm honored, honestly honored. Oh, it's the race. These last couple weeks, have been really hard. I really lost faith in being able to do this. I think about my brother and I think about the fact that I used to watch this as a kid and I'm actually here and I'm making my dreams come true. Everything is just kind of hitting me right now. Let's go, Nariz! Let's go! Well done, Nariz! Yes! Second place in the final. <laughs> You've just taken home $60,000. That's not bad. Not bad. Well, they may not be first, but second's not bad. I, I can't wait for my family to see this. I feel on top of the world. I can't believe I just finished my first final and came in second place. I came here saying that I was a true competitor. I told myself I was fast, I was smart, I was strong. And throughout this game, I definitely doubted myself. And I just proved myself wrong. I am exactly what I thought I was. You really just have to believe in yourself and believe that you can do it, and you can. Ah, I can't believe this. Check. Oh my, really? I have all five flags, and now it's just down to a race. But I have my mortal enemy, the balance beam, standing between me and third place and $30,000. All the challenge from the final. This is the last push. Hi, honey. Corey is really struggling with his balance skills, but he's also very fast. So I really have to pick this up and get my ass to the finish line. Run, run, Corey's coming, run. Ah. 
Has my entire game really come down to walking across a balance beam? If I can get over, maybe I can catch up to Colleen and I can get third. I'm telling myself right now, no matter what, Corey, you have to finish. You didn't get here for nothing. <laughs> Colleen has a head start. I believe in myself, and I think I can catch up to her. Corey is getting closer, and it motivates me even harder to run as fast as possible. I'm not that far behind. Efficiency and speed are very important right now. This is a race. Third place wins $30,000. Fourth place gets nothing. Run, run, Curry's coming, run! I just have to run to the finish line as fast as possible. I'm dehydrated, I'm tired, but I've got a second wind. I know Colleen is very fast, but I just really hope I can catch up and hopefully win third place. Whoever makes it to the finish line first, get $30,000. <laughs> Somebody's coming. That's Colleen. Colleen. That's Colleen. Congratulations. Ah. Third place. Well done, Colleen.